20 billboards in the city, who the fuck is you? Yeah, that boy a fool. Yeah, that boy a fool. I said my agree with you. I said my agree with you. About? About how you feel about Port of Miami, too. Yeah, I. I mean, we'll get, we'll, get to, we'll, get to, we'll get to we'll get to with music and shit in a little bit, but that is my jam of the week since we were kind of just talking about that. Right there, you had said you saw a couple bangers. On, you heard a couple bangers. On I did. I only saved like I think like two, three songs that I really wanted to like you know keep keep bumping like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I get it. I get it. It's a shitload. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's a, it's a good album, but is it like? His best Is album? Is it a classic? Hell no. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Huh. But there's definitely some good shit on there, man. The, the jam that he did with Nipsey's dope. Um, Act a Fool, Wale, fucking... It was his birthday know, today, right, Nipsey? Ones, I believe so, yeah. It's Act a trip, bro. Because, like, me not being a fan, usually I'm affected by, like, a famous person's death. Like, when Michael Jackson died, you felt some type of way. Not putting Nipsey Hussle in the same category, but at the same time paying homage to somebody who's passed away you know but when you when someone of that magnitude passes away usually you, you know it causes like a i don't even know how to fucking put the words to it but like like today i finally like felt sad about his death like legitimately sad not like you know you feel bad when someone dies and all that shit a little bit of a sad heart type of shit you know yeah seeing everybody post Thinking about his kids having to be raised, you know, without yeah. a dad. I'm just thankful my dad was in my life my whole life, you know. Yeah. So to see these, well, to know that these fucking kids are going to go through the rest of their life without their father, it, it's kind of heartbreaking, you know. It is, man. R.I.P. to Dipsy. Because that dude was a stand-up dude, man. Yes, he was. And I always said that. I respect his hustle and his grind and his fucking... Presence in his community. I just didn't really ride with his music, which is changed lately. Like I've heard a couple. Of, I don't like any of the stuff on the Khaled though. I was listening to We the Best Radio today while I was working. I don't like any of that new Khaled CD. It's There's just recycled. Yeah, definitely beats and definitely. overproduced it's, tracks. I mean, think about that, dude. It's like you gotta out every. They have to outdo themselves every album. And sometimes, you you know what I'm saying, sometimes they're able to and sometimes they're not. But, like, fucking, I'd say, like, 80% of the time they can. You know what I mean? For sure. Like, you can only think of, like, certain people. And, he, and even then, even when they outdo themselves, it still doesn't mean that, like, that's the classic album. It just means that they were able to keep going, like, and producing great content and shit. Yes, man, you're, you're still fucking dropping shit. Like, people, you know, motherfuckers be loving, like, every Drake album that come out, come out and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying they're all great. But... Dude has been, I think some of them have been getting better than the next one and the next one. Like, you definitely see, like, no, I'm talking about Drake. Oh, like Drake? Drake, Drake's got some pretty dope shit. Man. That last album was a bunch of mixtape shit. Scorpion? Oh, I'm not talking about that. Oh, Scorpion was good. Yeah, Scorpion was fucking ill, dog. And then the one before that was dope, too. But, uh. Was that the one that he was sitting on top of that shit in Toronto? Uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. It wasn't that one. It was the one before that with the five gun, with the five gum fucking uh, haircut. With the with the five gum, take me later. Remember, he had oh, the take face care. Sideways. Yeah, I know it wasn't take care. It was the fucking son of a bitch. Now you gonna make me look it up? Watch. Yeah, that boy a fool. Yeah, that boy a fool. Yeah, that boy a fool. find out what the name of this shit is? Yeah, I have it. Yeah, that boy of Goddamn. The album was Nothing Was The Same. Nothing Was The Same. Yeah, this one. With the five gum. With the five gum fucking haircut. Remember? Look. Look at his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that shit. Tuscan Leather was a good opening. Tuscan Leather was dope. Furthest thing started from the bottom. Found him around the bottom. Now we're here. Wu-Tang Forever was a fucking banger, dog. Like, that shit right there. That one fucking... Oh, my God. When that came out, I just love when I'm with you. Yeah, this shit is on team. Dude, he fucking killed that shit right there, dog. He's a singing ass. Hey, but you know what? But he does it just, just enough to keep it smooth. And on a fucking... 
like a like a like a man's fucking you know singing I'm a level man, shit. I'm a dog, man, you know what I'm I'm a man. Just like on some fucking fly shit, dog. Like like he's rapping to his chick, dog. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. These this music is made for the type of dudes that like you know they have a girlfriend with them in their ride. This is that shit that you be singing to her like I just love when I'm with you. You know when the shit is on ten. Yeah. That shit, okay. Hey. <laughs> I mean, dog, you, 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 you know, you've been single for a minute now, huh? For a hot minute. For a hot minute. You want to stay single? Uh, I was it? talking about that the other day. I'm not even in a hurry to get, like, a girlfriend or anything. Like, I really just want something to smash on. Smash on. Smash on. Order up. Order up. This is a certified hood classic. <laughs> I want something that's going to be um, a relationship where it's like we kick it. Like, I'm not treating you like a hoe or anything like that. Like, we'll go to dinner. We'll go to the movies. <laughs> I might even buy you shit on your birthday and that shit like that. Just random gifts. But I don't want the expectation of me having to put in X amount of hours a week. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be like, I want it to be like water, to be, be honest. I want it to be like whenever we link up. We enjoy the fuck out of each other. Yeah, what it is. Yeah. I want to be able to go to the gym whenever the fuck I want. I want you to be able to go have beers with your homegirls at fucking Hi-Fi on Sunday, if that's the case. Yeah. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm not a jealous person, bro. I'm just throwing out <laughs> random fucking places, you know, venues. But, like, no, nah, I, I mean, I just want something that's going to be, like, my best friend, but hot with boobs. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cut this all out, but that was so beautiful. Like that's where, like, you know how, like, we always wait for like that perfect moment to do the fucking order up, right there. The drop. Yeah, I just want something to smash, <laughs> ding, right there, dog. But you have to bring that's, it in. That's how you start season fucking sixty. Or fucking but you have to 60. bring in the 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 the. the, the Today, Junior. God damn. The part where I fucking. Um, Basically, save myself from looking like a man hoe. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I get it. Look, this, like, this is like you have thing. to. You have you, to. You, I, all I do the is dev- literally stop it right there. I chop it and then I just move it so that the next words that come out of our mouth is what no, what actually came out of our mouth. Right, I, right, I, I right, don't right. chop it like that. That's the only thing I do. I always just look for that one little moment where it's like it's the easiest thing. Because like last Can week, you echo you that say, out. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been I just want to do it. something to smash, 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 <laughs> and like fade out though. You know what I'm saying? I think that'd be dull. All, fucking, all kinds of smash, smash, smash. But like fade out, smash, 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 and then the fucking song comes in. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. think that's a perfect culmination. Yeah, right yeah. No, I mean it's gonna say smash, and then it's gonna say the dean, but you're gonna still hear the smash. You know what I'm saying? And then you should add Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> or a boy. <laughs> I found the I found the fucking. Did you hear? Did you hear the the last the last episode with the crusty on it? No, I haven't heard it yet. Ah, oh, you suck. Anyways, I found the crusty the clown where he's like, "Hey kids," <laughs> like that is just, yes. <laughs> it's in there. You know I what you need to do? I think it's do. like way at the end somewhere. You need hey, to edit that kids. part. Where it's just fucking him. <laughs> just edit that right there. That's it. And I just have a drop. I just need one. And just I have try, a drop. I tried to do it to the one that you said last week, the week before, but when you did it, I started laughing too so fast that it like it like kind of overlapped it and okay. there was no way to get my voice out of it. So it wasn't a clean fucking sample. But what you just did right there, <laughs> that'll work. That'll work right there. No, but yeah. That's to, what we're gonna have to do. You know what? We're just gonna have to start doing making our own little uh our own little sound effects, and then we'll get away it. from using them. I'm with it. But we're always going to keep fucking, uh, we're always going to keep you noob, what? Noob, noob noob like a motherfucker. He's always going to be there. God damn! 
You have, to, like, God damn! you have to add the explanation toward at the end of justif- justifying the way I feel the way I do because without context, I sound like a fucking male chauvinist. No, you didn't. It was just the fucking way you said it. It was perfect. But then, yeah, of course you said it. Yeah, you, you just, said it. You just got to keep them on ice while the music plays. <laughs> you know what I'm Girl, saying? Yo, yeah, you Woo! said it. <coughs> yeah, I'm getting no service here. <coughs> Why is it you always have no service? Dude, Midvale is a fucking 4G dead zone. No, even 3G. Oh, no, it's not. Either. Not for I, Verizon. That's right, baby. I have a sprint. You get what you pay for. Hey, dog, I pay 140 a month for my Damn, phone. you're paying way too much. Well, because I, I leased it, that's why. Oh, that's why. But never again. Even 100, even 100. Well, I mean, I get Yeah, that's probably about right. Like, after the fucking taxes and everything, it's about 100 a line for a good shit. I'm kind of grandfathered into, like, a pretty nice old Verizon business plan because we have more than one phone on our shit. So, like, it's a kind of a cool deal and shit. And then, like, because we keep it so old school or because we got this old school ass plan, we still have the ability to get in there and get, like, the new phones for, like, 199 or, like, that low ass price. Like, actually, they're not 199 anymore. But I think, like, my lady was able to get, like, an 8, like, right after the fucking 10 came out for, like, I think, like, yeah, like, 299 But, like, a one with, like, a grip of memory. That was an 8. And that's no fucking thing. It's just a two-year contract. We're going to be with them for two years. So you get the phone at a stupid. Remember, they used to do that all the time. Like when the when the iPhone like five and shit were coming out, there was always that base model that would come out. And if you signed up with them, it was one ninety nine and you got a two year contract and you got a brand new fucking iPhone and shit. But it was a two year contract. They used to do that. They got away from that. And they started getting into the whole monthly shit dude, because they know people were fucking up. They were trying to bounce because these motherfuckers started paying for you to leave. To come to their shit, you know what I'm saying? So they're like, oh, all right, you'll play that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what do they, they what's it, what's it, it, what do they do now? Basically, no, now it's like anytime you go get a new phone, like you have you have no choice but to pay for the phone outright or you pay the monthly fucking shit. You don't get that uh that fucking old fucking plan where they would give you a two year contract and you and could free get phone. it at a discounted price or a free phone. Yeah, sometimes they were free. I mean, you can Don't still get that. free phones, but who the fuck wants an LG fucking half-ass Android? Right. You know? I mean, hey. People, people, people love people Android, who can't, People dog. who can't really, like, get themselves and their kids, like, all fucking iPhones. I get it, man. You know what I'm saying? But that's where that fucking, that's why I like about iPhones been putting out those, like, SCs and shit. Like, the cheaper the cheaper versions and shit. They're gonna My bring, kid got a, a 5 they're S. Gonna, there you go. That one. They brought that motherfucker back. They're going to update that motherfucker, too. Oh, yeah? There's going to be, like, a 5 SC or some shit like that. They're going to make a new hybrid off that with all the good guts and everything. But that same factor. You know what it is? I think it's because they bought so much many of those fucking things and they probably never sold as many as they projected pile. they're just gonna like yeah we gotta do something with a them. discounted we gotta phone. do something with why you think i bet you they, they almost look like they're the same size as the fucking uh the ipods oh, i'm good dog whatever that is that's fucking smoke weed every day yeah man welcome to the hood diner season four i'm dj century i am the homie casual we are so unorthodox with our intros. Like sometimes we'll announce who we are. Sometimes it's like if you are a new fan, then you're gonna kind of be like, "What the fuck?" But for the most part, like we, you know, sometimes we wing it. We don't, you know, we don't. <laughs> you know, first of all, we. Well, we sometimes we to, wing it. No, that's the best thing, dude. We don't have to abide by FCC guidelines. You yeah, know? I mean, it's, it's open, this is in public it's forum. Open format, man. I mean, we do have somewhat of some guidelines and shit, but you know. Sometimes yeah, we don't be a shit. fucking sometimes, racist. That's sometimes, a guideline. Sometimes we get into tangents that take you on a different highway and you start going this way. And it's like, all right, this is some nice scenery. And we start talking. And the next thing you know, dude, we have no idea where the fuck we're at. But the good thing is, is that's why we have this little notes right here, dog. You know what I'm saying? To keep us on, keep us on cue and shit. Okay. So, well, you're talking about the iPhones. The new 11 is going to come out. Oh, yeah, that's right. And they're going to have a new color in there. It's going to be dark green. This is digital shit. Oh, we're, we're, I thought we were in technology. We were talking about iPhones. Yeah, you're talking about digital shit? Okay, then. Okay, digital shit. Well, no, because we were talking about iPhones. That's why I segue into the one of the topics about the iPhone. Okay. Um, the standard is going to be like the bottom. The base model is going to have 128 gigabytes. Hmm. So that's an upgrade from where a lot of people are. Like I have 64, I think. 
What do you think that's going to hit for? You think that's going to be like eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine? dollars 99 dollars Oh, for sure. You'll have like a ten ninety nine yeah. version. The $1,200 version. Yeah, for sure. That's a trip, that's crazy, huh? Dog. I think the only difference between this one and the one that's out right now, dog, is going to be that third camera. It's going to be like a wide angle camera. How about this? Make a phone that doesn't break the glass. Do that. If there's companies that fucking produce a film that goes over your fucking phone screen, then how can they not make those fucking phones that strong? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. These motherfuckers. There should be there should be something factoried. But then you buy the phone because you want to see the phone. Like it's a beautiful design. Like I I heard the same argument on Joe Rogan. Cause I, you ever watch that Neil deGrasse Tyson episode? Yep. You see how he was flipping his phone all crazy like that? Yeah, dude. I love that shit. He was all, <clears throat> what did he say? He's all, you think about a soldier. He's all, soldier's not going to drop his gun. He's all, he, soldier's going to keep that gun close to him because he knows that, that that is like a part of him. He's all, essentially, your phone is now an extension. It's like, he said that <laughs> it's like an extension of your brain now. It's almost like our brains... This phone, that's what we're tapped into right there, dude. And like, you know, we need that shit to get us through our business nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Look at and you Elon- contact fucking your employees. You contact your, you know, you know, friends and shit. Oh, look at this watch. Look at this. This is Sonny Houston right here. Let me let me answer this call real quick. See what's up. Hello. What are you doing, man? What's up, dude? What are you doing? We're recording the podcast right now. <laughs> That's right. What are you doing? Yeah. No, man, no. I'll just call you. I, how, how much time do you have? You got like five minutes? What do you need, dog? <laughs> Nothing. No, no, no. I just want to call you, bro, and let you know that. So, I know it's been annoying, man. I just want to kind of like just tell you, like, like me and Shane are both wanted to like apologize to you, man. No, nah, like, don't even sweat it, dog. Don't even sweat it. See, now I got to cut. Now I got to cut this all out. <laughs> We're recording, fool. I'm telling you, we're live. Oh, shit. Okay. We're See? live. The motherfucking hood diner. Yo, shout out, motherfucking casual. <laughs> casual design. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> hey, yo, it's Paul Sentry. What up? I tell him to start smoking all the weed. Hey. Anyways. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, shout out to you guys. But yeah, man, I just want to call you. Say what's up. Call me when you're done. For sure. Up, I got you. All right, up. All right, peace. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> what the fuck happened there, dog? Nah, I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, check it out. You was talking about iPhones. I had this thing about these skull candies. You're, did you ever, you like skull candies? You I'm, a, skull I'm, candies? I, I'm a Beats person, bro. You're a Beats person. You never you know, had I, skull candies? I, the only reason I say that is because I got the... The wireless. I get that. Yeah, dude. I didn't expect you to. I didn't expect you to say like what you got right now. Have you ever had skull candy? You ever fuck with skull candies? Never. Okay, so you never had skull candy. To me, skull candy was like the 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 cheaper version of like beats and right. shit. Like the motherfuckers that couldn't have the or didn't you know want to spend the amount of beats and shit. You know what I mean? So fucking skull candies, bro. I remember having just like the the earbuds and shit, dude. Those motherfuckers were dope, bro. Like compared to what Apple had at that time, like the little fucking. The white motherfuckers and shit. Back yeah. Then, like, I don't know. I don't even know if fucking. Uh, I don't even know if Beats was around then. Yeah, they probably were. They were coming up about then. But yeah, man, Skull Candy. They've been around for a minute too. They came out with some fucking some wireless ones, like some some shit to compete with the fucking ear po- AirPods or whatever and shit. But they're they're not that great. They're not that great. Nah, I was kind of sad. See, I can't fuck with the normal AirPods because my fucking ears are weird. So that's why I went the new Beats, the over ear. And I'm not saying because I know when I watched a couple of videos on these things and a couple of people had like different little complaints about them. They're like kind of weird. The size on them. Like, look at the size of these things. Kind of like having like a fucking, what do they call those things? Those scarabs from the mummy. Them shits <laughs> coming alive in your ear right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So how's that thing just supposed to sit in your ear? It sits in there apparently. But it, like that dude said, the dude that I watched his video that does a lot of these fucking interviews and shit, he was saying that it kept falling out and shit. He did he wasn't feeling them, but they're not that bad. They're like eighty nine bucks, but they say they got really good bass. Like that's what people that do like them say. They're like, dude, these motherfuckers. If you love some bass and you want some fucking earbuds, they're fucking dope and shit. Like if you're just doing like everyday shit, just wearing them around the house, dude, they're like perfect. You know what I mean? They're fucking dope. But like if you're trying to wear them to like work out and stuff like that, they're not like the 
that's not the that's not the way, bro. But hey, that's some good shit though, right there. Yeah, I prefer over ear too when I'm lifting. Yeah, man. Because so you jumped. silence everything so, out. So we jumped into topics before we could even get our sponsor recognition shit out the way. Real quick, shoot, shoot out the fucking gate. Boom. Got to give a shout out to Dude Wipes. Go to dudeproducts.com. Use code HOOD. Get 15% off your order. Y'all know about Dude Wipes, right? You just you just posted a picture of you with some Dude Wipes, right? Yeah, I, I uh, did a shout out to Dude Wipes because for keeping my underwear clean, you know? Definitely. No skid marks. No Hashtag mud butt. no mud butt, you know? No mud butt. No mud butt. Hashtag no mud butt. <laughs> Go to official clothing. That's O H F I S H L dot com. Use code hood and get 25% off your total order. Get free shipping over 50 bucks. O H F I S H L dot com. It's official, baby. Official. Okay, man. Yo, those dude wives came pretty fast. Yeah. Three days. A couple days. Three days. I mean, yeah, you could go to the store and get them, but. Like when you have something in stock, like I'll never wipe my ass with anything other than a dude wipe ever again. Ever. 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 Like it, that's, that's the wave now. You yep. know what I'm saying? Clean it's a ass. whole area of there clean is nothing, cleanliness. There you, is nothing more refreshing and more confident than stepping out of the bathroom with a clean ass. Whole. A clean ass. Whole. So, yeah, man, if this is your first time checking this out, man, hopefully you're checking this out on PodCoin. Yeah! What you know about PodCoin, dog? I know you get rewards for listening on there. Fucking A right. Go listen to your favorite uh, podcast on there, and then you will be able to stack coins. With these coins, you can purchase gift cards. You can purchase cups of coffee. You can purchase a whole bunch of good shit. You can stack them shits. You can get you some beats, some headphones. Oh, word? Buy a lot of shit, dog. It's a big ass fucking thing. Go check it out. And while you're there and you sign up, use code HOOD, get 300 bonus points just so for So realistically, up. you listen for like three or four years, you're probably going to get some headphones. Fucking A right. For free. You yeah. know? A. B. Okay. Hold on, you bro. You on one tonight, huh? Let's, let's, uh. That I gotta, fucking herb get you or what? I got to take, uh. Let me get some water here. Some water. Got that water. The guzzler. Got that water. The guzzler. What you know about the guzzler? Guzzler, guzzler. guzzler. You don't know shit about the guzzler. Guzzler. I'm telling you, my lady almost left the guzzler at the movies. Were you upset? I wasn't upset. I caught it. But I was like, holy shit. Had I not looked real quick, the guzzler would have been gone. Con with the guzzler. We would have been dipped. We would have done dipped out with the out the guzzler. Damn, did it. We would have done dipped out without the guzzler. Damn, homie. We would have done dipped out without the guzzler. <laughs> there you go. Oh, dude, I need to get some air. Yeah, let's go outside. A few moments later. Adukin. Uh, oh. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> that was like fucking burp if I ever heard My that. bad. My bad. Panic boom. Okay, dude, look it. We're going to get right back into this shit, okay? Panic boom. So anyways, man, check out PodCoin. So like, okay, let's get into some news, okay? News. <laughs> Let's get into some news, dog. You ready? <laughs> All right, that was the last one. Okay, man. So, obviously, the big thing that Jeffrey Epstein dude found by an apparent suicide while in jail, right? That's a trip because he just got off a of suicide watch. Are you going in, dog? Are you going in on the tremor? See. Are you going to go in on the tremor? It, it's not really full tremor, dog. I was just fucking around. The top oh, parts aren't good, that bad. Good, good. They're not that bad. They're kind of warm. Oh, probably. no, we're good. You sure? We're Gucci. Let me see. Let me see what's good with this. Well, you know what? Soft. Okay, look. Well, then maybe before we get into news, we'll go into uh, we'll do something new real quick. Holy shit, they are they are definitely soft. This week, something new. Mm, Wisps yummy. went to uh, dude. That noise is so annoying. Oh my god. 
You know how many times I had to cut that fucking noise out <laughs> that I was doing right there? That that fucking noise, bro. That's ASMR gold right there. Oh my god, no, bro. Like for real. Like I need to. I need, I, I apologize to anybody if I leave a few of those in. I'm doing my best to keep those out because those are fucking annoying. Um, okay, so something new this week. Them wisps. I got them uh, bacon barbecue cheese crisps. You <laughs> DJ Century was like, nah. <laughs> he wasn't feeling them. Let me tell you guys what these things feel are, are how the best way I can describe them. You get some like shredded cheese, right? And you drop it on a on a grill. You know, so it like kind of gets like crunchy and like kind of greasy and like turns into like a, you know, like like the same what you would do with like an egg or like a fucking burger, right? Yeah. And you take it off and you like kind of pat it down, let it get fucking, you know, dry and shit. And then maybe put that in some sort of like an air dryer thing just to crisp it up a little bit. That's exactly what these fucking things are. And they're not bad. I century didn't like them. My opinion was he's doing the, the di- he's doing the diet thing right now, so he's he's not filming. Even though these are actually like very low carb, uh, high protein, and like gluten free and shit, but you know, it's probably just the taste factor for you. You know what I'm saying? You did it's like the, the red headed stepchild of the cheese. It there you go. That's what it was, dude. It was the fucking ugly cousin. He said, but that ugly cousin was in shape. I don't know. Like he's in shape. He's on keto, because that's what I've seen these from. I've seen these from like keto videos. And then uh, to drink, we got this market side raspberry lemonade. Huh. It was fucking definitely sugary. Oh, yeah. It was sugary. I tasted it after being off of soda for so long. You can taste the sugar in it, but it was delicious. It was good. It was a nice little treat tonight. Yeah. It's hot as fuck. Today, well, today was one of the hottest days in, in Tucson for like a good it was a heat warning this whole week, right? But that's just like everyday shit in Phoenix. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Thankfully, it's a couple degrees less down here. For sure. And it's not a lot. And those couple degrees matter. Yeah, this is very true. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is when I thank thank the Lord that I get to work from my fucking comforts and my fucking air conditioning. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. (laughs) He said, I, you know what? Big, big show love to fucking... The people that do work out in the heat and shit, man. Hopefully, you all stay fucking hydrated. Paving roads. Stay shaded. Stay hydrated as much as possible. Landscaping, painting. Oh, my goodness. I used to do that, bro. I did windshields for fucking five years. And fucking that you make was, good scratch doing that? That was horrible. It was all right. It was livable. Well, like 50 a car? It was livable. I don't even know. You can't even break it down like that. No. Not even close. No. But anyways. Um... It was it was some some horrible shit because you'd be working on cars that have just been sitting out in the heat. They don't put it in the shade, and then like if they have it in the fucking garage and shit, they'll pull it out the garage. They don't want you working in the garage and shit. They'll fucking pull it out into the heat and shit like that. Like people were fucked up. People were fucking assholes, man. Like just leave it in the garage, homie. You know how much I would have appreciated that shade. No shit. Nah, they think we're gonna fucking make a mess, but we cleaned up everything, bro. We were fucking on top of that shit. It was good. It was it was a fun job, but it was just hot. Taxing then, on you? Yeah, dude. And then the other job that I had, I worked at fucking Granite when I worked, I did construction. I didn't actually do construction. I worked in the fucking QC department. I used to test the fucking Granite and the aggregates and shit, bro. That was a fucking crazy ass job, dog. That was dope. I got learned. I had to, I got learned on learned how to fucking, it. I got learned it on how to fucking test, you know what I'm saying? The, the densities of the fucking, those concretes and fucking the, the asphalts and shit like that, bro. It was crazy, man. It was tight. It was dope. I, it was it was a it was it was just a bunch of shit. You just had to follow a bunch of steps, do these tests and shit. It was a process. You had to make sure your shit was calibrated and all kinds of good shit. But it was it was crazy, bro. It was that one was fun, but then that one sucked because that one I became a victim of the fact that like it just got slow in Tucson. It was kind of like a I think it was a summertime thing too, and uh, they started letting the motherfuckers at the bottom of the totem pole go. And you were one of you them. Know, I was one of them. You know what I'm saying? We had a couple QC guys and shit like that, and I was the youngest or the fucking newest dude there. I think I'd already been there for like a year and a half. It was good. It was a good job though. But then that that worked out though because that was when Chef Mondo fucking came through and said, "Hey, bro, I need a homie to come help me out over here." Went down there and met the fucking house mom. He said he fucked up his beard. Is that true? He said he what? Fucked up his beard. Oh, I don't know. Facebook. I haven't seen any pictures of him. Me either. So maybe he did. Bodecito, if he did, because he had a beard. (laughs) 
<laughs> he, he might have, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Shimondo, man. He's got some fucking big plans coming up, dude. He's been talking to me about it. We got some shit in the works. Uh, I think my buddy on, uh, working on some shit. from Honor Roll is getting back into a food truck. Is he? Did I say food truck? I don't know. No, you didn't say anything. <laughs> but I said my buddy um, from Honor Roll is yeah. Dominic. Gotcha. He posted some shit, and I was like, okay. Get it. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Mm. Dude. Okay, so. Let's get back into this. Let's get back to the news real quick. News. Got the Epstein. fucking the Epstein shit, dog. Like he was murdered, bro. Obviously, man. That's the crazy shit about it, ain't it? It's like nobody. They're not gonna fuck. They're not even me. trying to cover it up anymore. They're like, they're just oh, like, well, just who did it? Like someone did it. Someone did. Say, yeah, yep. Yeah, someone did do it. But who? <laughs> Where are the fingers getting pointed? He hung himself all the fucking all day, bro. I remember. Uh, I can't remember who I was talking to about it. I think it was. I think it was Bert. And he was telling me like he was like, oh, do they the cleanse? Clans did it. The clans did it. And then like, but I'm like, dude, it's kind of funny. Pedophile because, Island. Because you got all the people, all the people from the Clinton department fucking or on, you know, the Democrat. I guess you could say Democrats maybe that are defending it saying, oh, no, that's Trump's. That's Trump's hit list. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's Trump's hit list. Trump kill list. Hashtag Trump kill list. You know what I'm saying? Like they were pushing that shit, bro. So it was like, if you really break it down, bro, they both, both sides have stand something to lose. They probably got together on that shit. They were just like, hey, what do you think? Let's combine let's com- let's combine forces. See what the fuck. I don't know. The the climate shift in politics is crazy right now. It is. Uh, yeah, it's kind of disgusting, man. It's kind of disgusting. It's not, they're not even fucking trying to hide this shit now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just, we're just going to ride it on out. But, hey, I don't make enough money for it to fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Right, exactly. So here we go. Moving on. Uh Next thing Did you see that I had, that fucking green shirt guy? Oh, dude, he's so famous now. He's so famous. That's dope. Good for him, man. He was just laughing at that chick. Yeah, he was fucking laughing his ass off, bro. He became a national treasure that day. <laughs> Shout out to that dude. Okay, so check this out. Some other stupid... Uh, I don't even know why I wrote this in here. Dumb shit, but fuck it. <laughs> Every now and then you got to have the gossip bullshit... The whole fucking okay, so Miley Cyrus and the and the the Hemsworth uh, Thor's brother broke up. You know what I'm saying? Liam Liam Hemsworth, they broke up and shit. It's fucking stupid. It's like I saw it and I was like, eh, well, you know, right now I was kind of like, before I really had some good shit to talk about because it was like I put that deep back in the notes right there. Supposedly she might kissed even, another even, chick or even, something like that already. Talk about this shit. Might not even talk about it. Well, I don't even care. Might like, just cut it out. It's for me. Might just cut it out. Miley Cyrus's career has been over for me for a minute now. Okay. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> Music news. Did you see Jada Kiss knocking out them them pull ups in New York on yeah, that scaffolding, man? Dude, that's <laughs> that New York workout. Like a beast, that dude. Uptown workout. Oh my gosh. How many of those can you knock out? How many pull ups like that. Probably ten. Ten. Okay, that's good. But I'm done after that. I'm like, yeah. I can't do multiple sets of that. If I could get one, dude, I'd be happy as fuck. Yeah, because that means I'll live. You ever, you, ever, you ever get dream about that scenario where you're hanging off the edge of a fucking building and whether you can lift yourself up is really the, the depends on if you're going to live or not. You know what I mean? We no. think about that. Maybe you like maybe the adrenaline will make you get your ass up on the fucking. Well, I group strength from yeah. lifting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. So being able to pull yourself up. Yeah. All burly and shit like yep. you were saying. <laughs> All burling thong. Burling thong. <laughs> Vamos a ir al Burlington. Burlington. ¿Dónde compraste eso? Mira, acá en el Burlington. <laughs> they got fire there, though. Fuck yeah, they do. I'm oh, telling sometimes you. Sometimes it's better than Ross. I'm too. telling you, yes. Everybody you knows you about, shot the bigger dude sizes, so they Burlington. got you on deck, right? Bro, every time we come, anytime I get the opportunity when we're coming back from, like, uh, Sedona or Flagstaff or something, there's one that's, like, way up on 17. I fucking love that one, bro. We always stop there, like, on the way back and shit. It's like... It's like a firebird or one of those fucking last ones before you start getting out of fucking Phoenix and into like, I don't know what you call that up there, dude. But it's the north, like heading towards fucking Blackstaff, Sedona shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, bro, like there's a fucking Burlington that's out there on one of them streets right there. bro. I love stopping at that one. I always get like at least a couple pairs of shorts or something going on there. You know what I'm saying? Some tank tops, some shirts, whatever, bro. I always find some good shit. They're cheap. Cheap as fuck. Ooh. 
We're going to uh, San size? Diego next week. All right. There you go. That'll be nice. A little getaway. Yeah. Just the homies and shit. Go kick it at the beach. Probably hit gas lamp. <clears throat> hit a couple dispensaries. But they had this huge outlet in San Ysidro. Yeah. I'm going to hit that up. Dumb. Go ball at Polo. Hey, so I think I asked you, dude, but did you want to go on this fucking cruise that we're going on? I'm next down. Year? Yeah. You gotta get. You gotta put like a deposit down. So I'm just waiting for you to email me the information. So you can secure the room. Yeah, I'll send it to you. We already all put our. Deposits gotta get a boo down. for that, huh? You gotta get a boo for that. Oh shit, ladies! <laughs> Let's make that some hood diner shit, dog. Like we'll make it like a no. Like no, a, you we talk about. Me off. Come on. <laughs> Come on! He He's said, so cool. I wasn't even gonna say auction, but now that you said it, fuck, that's an even greater fucking. That's a great idea. No, nah, I'm just fucking with you. No, nah, just we'll keep we'll, we'll we'll talk about it every night. It'll be it'll be a segment. It'll be a segment called fucking my fucking life cent- love life update or centuries what? Centuries cruise cuties or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, centuries cruise. Who's gonna go on the cruise with Century? Who's cruise? so you can get like a like a. Like a double room for for two people, each room is for two people. Right, right, but they're not different from like when you pair them. Like say you're, it's like a couple. There's no different about? style room. Oh, you can get one that's like a like a yeah like a queen size bed. So that's like instead the mom and the dad. No, instead of two separate ones, you know what I mean, dude. There's like there's like a bunch of options for. There's one that has like up to like if you want to get four people in there. Sex wing. No, it's not like that. But it's like there's there's room for four people. You got two beds that come out of the ceiling, down, okay, and then you have the fucking the other two like a couches turn into beds and shit like that. It looks dope. It, it's crazy. They 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 have a few of them rooms and shit like that. We got some of those for uh, a cousin of mine. A cousin of mine that's going with her. She has uh, four kids and she's taking them all. They're getting a fucking like a uh, what do you call it a balcony. Okay, but. Straight across from them is an interior room, and then that interior room has the four beds. So, like, their kids are going to be right across the, the room from them, you know what I'm saying, in the hallway. So, that's adult, you know what I'm saying? We're able to do that. Like, we're trying to get in on this one. And the, the truth is, like, we actually were going to book during a certain date, and that date was already too booked. Okay. To facilitate everybody that we already had ready to go. We had, like, nine rooms ready to roll, you know what I mean? How much are you dropping total on yourself? I'm not going to throw that out there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I mean, dude, like, usually they're like about a grand per person. Okay. Somewhere in there. But then you got like other additional shit, bro. There's like these port fees and taxes. So like, and then you got to think about airfare, you know what I'm saying? So it, it can add up. But like I mean, 15 hundo. I mean, well, no, that. I mean, maybe, yeah, and then including the fucking airline, maybe like two, two racks, maybe. That's just playing it smart, you know what I'm saying? Having a little extra for like uh, little Ubers and shit like that. On top of the money you're gonna spend Plus, already, you got to do uh, not just port fees, taxes. You also do have to do gratuity, bro. That's the thing about uh, cruises. Cruise ships. There's an automatic gratuity fee, and it's per day. You know what I mean? So it's something like $8 or $9 or some shit like that. So that's an additional fee. So you add that times how many days it is. And it's a seven-day cruise. You know what I mean? So it can add up, dog. But, like, if you really break it down, like, truthfully, if you really break it down, let's say you want to do hotel, right? And, I mean, I'm not comparing, like, a nice suite to, like, a room in a in a boat because these rooms are fucking small. But you're only in them for so fucking long. You know what I mean? Like, so look at that. So you got accommodation. Unless you're boning right? the whole time. Well, then that's all you need is one little space, right? <laughs> no, well. That's why I love the fucking, you know. I like get to. Your, get yourself a balcony. You know what I'm saying? I like to uh, move around the room a little bit. There you go. Well, there's plenty of room for that. Little bathroom, you know what I'm saying? Little bath. <laughs> No fucking, because technically the bathroom is like right here, and the fucking shower is like right there, dude. Like, so yeah, you can do all kinds of good shit, whatever you want to do in there. Anyways, um, anyways, yeah, so uh, so yeah, so then, then you uh, add the price of seven days or seven nights of fucking you know sleep fucking accommodations. 
seven days worth of fucking food, obviously. You know what I'm saying? There's a shitload of choices that you can do. You know what I'm saying? People be like, oh, it's just, just going to hog down. about do their salads. There's sandwiches. There's all kinds. There's sandwiches. Options. There's fucking options for everybody, homie. Like, there's there's everything. There's everything you can choose from. You only want Italian food? There's a section with nothing but fucking bomb-ass Italian food. You know what I mean? There's 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 the whole fucking, they got a fucking, uh, like, down fucking home cooking type shit with the fucking fried chicken and the mashed potatoes and the fucking macaroni and cheese. And then next to that will be the fucking salad bar. Like, they have all kinds of different styles of food, bro. It's, it's everything. You got Guy Fieri's little fucking hamburger joints and shit on there. What? And you have to buy the food from them? No, that shit is all free. But it's, it's just sponsored like his menu? included, yeah. It's his menu and shit. Is that Carnival? Yep. Is that why they're fucking... There's like special like perks and shit, like different than than different cruise lines that they have. I mean, every every cruise line has its own set of perks, Little bells, like that. bells yeah. and whistles yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like honestly, the one that we were gonna go on, bro, was uh, Norwegian. Right. Norwegian is fucking crazy, bro. Like this, this, this ship. It's the newest carnival ship that's coming out right it's still being built right now but by the time next year when we go on it it's gonna be out it's gonna already been cruising for like maybe like three months right so Damn. It's still gonna be fresh bro but it's um just as big as one of the norwegian ones bro i don't even know how many stories it is dog like the ones that i've been on in the past have only been like maximum capacity like with the people like three thousand thirty five hundred you know what i'm saying i think the yeah. one i think the one where we got married that one might have been four thousand this one's like fifty six hundred bro it's fucking it's a big ass boat fifty six hundred fifty six hundred people that's a gang of people so there's a you have to have x amount of fucking people working to accommodate that 5600 so that's total probably like almost like 10k people eight fucking thousand that's how big the people. boat is it's a big ass boat dude this one it's their biggest one yet what's their titanic homie this, this is the big shit so that's what's gonna be cool about that boat you know what i mean so that's why so it's literally a city on the on the on the water pretty much dude and then you throw in like some fucking okay they got like comedy shows like almost every night bro there's gambling there's fucking vegas style shows bro think about if you went to vegas and you had to pay for all these little shows even getting like the coupons and going to them shits bro like it's not going to add up to the amount of what uh, the amount that you save on going like a cruise and shit dude right and people do people fucking always will throw something at you oh the fucking boats are going to stop oh it smells like shit oh people going to get fucking diseases and all that shit you know what i'm saying dude hey like that's fucking anywhere you know what i'm saying protect yourself don't be a fucking dumbass, you know what I'm don't saying? Don't be a dumbass. Don't fucking go get your fucking, you know, your hands on everything and then go get an ice cream cone and then eat the motherfucker. Yeah, you're going to get sick, dumbass. You know what I'm saying? Like, be smart about your you, shit. You, you're a more clean type person. I see you walking around antibacterial. You fucking ain't right. Fucking Me, ain't I right. just roll with But you want to know why, though? There's a, there's, a, there's a reason for that. It's because my lady, she had eczema, like, for a long time. She still kind of does, but she's able to control it and shit now. But, like... There, um, she gets super itchy and shit. Yeah, man. Like fucking when she went to uh beauty school young, fresh out of high school, the chemicals really fucked her hands up. And really? Shit, bro. She had to drop out of school. So That's like funny. for, for years, bro, check this shit out. This is the funny shit, dude. She could get so sad. I told this story. Well, for years, she, like I said, she had to drop out. So like for years, bro. Anytime we watched that movie Grease, she'd start cracking up because I started saying, drop oh, beauty school dropout. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, all that shit, She'd get dog. sad? She, I'd fuck with her. Just, but yeah, she'd get all sad. But she went back, dog. She went back. She did it. She had that shit under control. She knew when to wear gloves and when she couldn't wear gloves. And, like, she fucking finished her shit. And that's what she's been doing for years now. You know what I mean? Sure. But, uh, but yeah, man. I used to fuck with, we used to fuck with her with the beauty school that's dropout, funny, dog. Bro. Yeah, for real, man. That's fucking great, though. Okay, man. So, I think that was it for the fucking news. All right, and then we went to... um. Okay, into like uh, the movies and the TV shit. And here we go. Are you the key master? Laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> we came, we saw, we kicked it down. This baby hits 88 miles per hour. They're gonna see some serious shit. Did you see that Universal canceled the release of that movie, The Hunt? What was it about? It was it was with homegirl that Betty Gill something. The chick from uh, Glow. Yeah. The blonde chick. You know what I'm saying? The main girl. They sidelined she, that movie? They sidelined the movie because it was about... It was kind of like... Did you ever see that movie? Ah, fuck. What was it called? I've what never seen it? Off Fuck. It was with no. Ice-T. And 
Uh, Gary, I think Gary people. used they were yeah, hunting yeah, his yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's kind of what this is. It's like a newer version of that type of shit. They were hunting people for sport type And they shit. took it in didn't debut It's it. because it was set to release the week of all these shootings and shit that just went down. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of fucking crazy, man. But, you know, I, that would, that, that's just like, you know, I mean, obviously I, they, they did the right thing. They, you know, they're respectful about the shit, but that's got to kind of suck for uh, everybody involved. Everybody involved. Yeah. Like think about like homegirl fucking sh- that that would sideline your career. I think, I, you know, I don't think it'll sideline your career. I think they're just sidelining it for like a good period of time. Low came back. Let, I think they're gonna let the shit came out. Like, yeah, season okay, we were, three. We were gonna roll right into that. Obviously, yeah. have you watched? it? Have you binge watched? I haven't it watched it yet. Okay, I'm like, I'm still on episode eight of the boys. I gotta want to watch the rest of it. Oh, okay, yeah. See, we're waiting for. We're gonna finish Glow, and then we're gonna go on to the boys. Bro, it's so sick. I know. I heard it's so sick. I might even go back to the beginning and watch it through. Again I, heard, I heard. I heard. Before I, heard. I finish it, I heard it was good. He's like Superman. The guzzer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking has a laser eye, like Cyclops and shit. Like, it's fucking tight, bro. Don't be ruining shit, dude. I haven't watched it yet. I didn't say anything that you wouldn't figure out. Obviously, I didn't know there was a dude that was like Superman. You don't know who he is. (laughs) But I'm going to fucking see it and I'll be like, oh, that's a century. Spoiler alert. (laughs) But when you see him come to fucking light, bro, you see him come to light. Yeah, man. But yeah, Glow is back. Glow's good. I've watched like I think the f- half of the season. Me and my lady watched half of it. Good. Yes, very very good. It's getting good. It's getting good. It's crazy. It's dope. It's funny. It's a bittersweet relationship I have with Netflix because yeah. it's like you binge and then you have nothing to look forward to, other than the There's new, uh, new There's the new Dave new. Chappelle's coming out. I saw that August twenty sixth. I want to go out there. Did you see a little commercial for that? Like out in the white sands like that. Always wanted to go out there, yeah. Film some shit that just looks dope. Like I just just as it's like an instant fucking dopeness because of the background. Fucking alien like, comes out and probes you. Like yeah, oh, well, it's a beep boop pop that's, boop beep. That, that's the, the the risk you take for trying to get some good footage. Telling you was gonna take your temperature. He <laughs> <laughs> didn't give me no anal probe. <laughs> I could have sticked out my tongue. You could have fucking put a thermometer in my mouth. Ugh. Okay, man. So. In the fashion and culture shit, the only thing I have, like I was telling you Those about Those Yeezys, kind of bro. Okay, okay, okay. You said the Yeezys. I didn't like them. They're they ugly. Look, they look like old. They look like a, like a reworked Nike shoe. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a Nike, like, I want to say it's called like the Python or some shit like I'll that. I'll show you a Python. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had one of those in a minute. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Dude. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I'm pretty sure it was called the Python or some shit like that. And then... uh. Yeah, I didn't like it, but yay, hey, yay, do your thing. Um, hey, yay, do your thing. And then I bought I, my kid a pair I, of those SpongeBob's. I saw those; those were dope as fuck. Those are dope as fuck. Those I might get me really a pair. Cool. Might as well, dude. It will take not? like family picker and shit. Yeah, like, dude, that'd be dope. Little that'd fucking dope. smiles with the snow with the sun SpongeBob on. Fuck yeah! I'll get her a a polo dress, you know, so it's like the polo material, yeah, with a collar, but it's a dress version of that, and then. Of course, dad's gonna have to get the same color. There you go. You know, like that shit. Let's do it. I'm gonna have to make it happen. And then uh, the only other thing I saw that I thought was fucked up was crazy. I didn't even know this shit existed, but apparently there's they make bulletproof backpacks for kids and yeah. shit now. You know what I'm saying? And, and this uh, article came out that bulletproof backpack bulletproof backpack bulletproof backpack bulletproof backpack sales is up 200 percent right now, man. And like that's some fucked up shit, but I, I get it. I definitely fucking get it, man. It's a necessary evil. It's fucking, yeah, it's like, it's the, it's the climate right now, and it just seems to be something that people are uh, thinking about. Like I said, man, or I didn't really say that on here. I said it on the on the something new, right, when we were recording the something new before we do this, which is our, our, our Patreon intro, which you should check out. Hopefully, it'll be up by the time this releases. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Right. Anyways, uh, um... I lost my train of thought. Oh, but we were talking about it on the Patreon and uh Marijuana fixed the memory. I went to Walmart to go pick up the shit. I went to go I went to Walmart. <laughs> I went to Walmart to go get this shit for the something new. And the 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 way it felt in there, man, the way people just seemed to be like um, you know, on guard and shit, the way the cashiers were kind of like it was kind of it was a different vibe in there today, man. It kind of sucked, you know what I'm saying? And it sucks to see fucking, you know, 
it affecting people like that. I mean, it could have just been me. I could be on some 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 wild shit, but I really do feel like I saw some. You know, I think your brother just pulled up. It's like a different vibe. Yeah. Is that, is that Dirty Mike? Dirty Mike and the boys. What's cracking on me? Got them watching her team get her ass kicked. Their defense sucks, dude. dude. They, were, they, were, they made Mike Lynn look like an all-pro quarterback. Fucking that spider white banana was fucking us up all night. I know, bro. <laughs> Damn, my bad, dog. I think I parked in your spot, huh? Oh, you're good. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. He's got the, the blizzy coming What's in. What's that man. new, new? Yeah, man. We were just talking about how, like, right now, the the... The sales of, of bulletproof backpacks has gone up 200%. I believe it. Yeah, fucking yeah, in, right? It's just what's fucking going down right now, man. It's fucked up. It's crazy how you think Columbine happened and went down when we were in school. And we didn't even think about it. But now it's like an everyday thing. And damn, am I going to die at school today? Right? It's fucking, dude, that's some crazy shit for kids nowadays, man. That kind of so sucks. So when we were talking about the whole iPhone being a part of your head type thing, like part of you now. Right. What the biggest barrier we have is the buffering system is that we have to have a third party to access the information. What Elon Musk wants to do is 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 break that threshold to it's like, oh, it's up here. So that's like somehow, some way this is going to get in your and I'm holding my iPhone. It's going to be a Bluetooth chip to our brain. To your brain. It's going to bypass it. It's going to be instant bandwidth. (laughs) Bluetooth to the brain. Everybody's going to know everything pretty soon. (laughs) That's gonna be the fucking the one dude that decides to make the rap video Bro. about that shit. He's gonna be like, I went and got my Bluetooth to the brain. Like he's gonna drop that yeah. video, bro. There's gonna they're gonna all be like this. There's gonna be little screens above their heads and shit flying around on Bluetooth to the brain. If they can fucking hack Facebook, if they can hack the fucking cloud from Apple, like who's to say they can't hack into your fucking brain and have you fucking do shit? Bluetooth to the brain. You know what I'm <laughs> Like, they're hacking into your consciousness at that point, bro. Skynet? You know? <laughs> Skynet! Artificial intelligence taking over? Well, fucking goddamn Terminator walking around here. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Skynet's gonna be the one to drop that album. <laughs> I guarantee you they're gonna debut it in, like, Chicago, bro. They're gonna have, like, fucking drones with machine guns. Halt! And it's gonna fucking send out fucking zappers. Fucking Robocop? Yeah, bro. Murphy's coming after your ass? <laughs> fucking chappy you fuck mother and then you think fucking what's his name asap's gonna come out and sing the bluetooth to the brain song <laughs> bluetooth to the brain he already owes fucking trump right hey what was that shit they said they did find him guilty right for something yeah for for yeah something like that right so Two what counts so what is he got to go back? Service. He, I guess he's gonna get it. I don't know. He might get fucking. They ain't gonna extradite his ass, dog. No, 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 no. Because no, he's no. already back, right? They let him go. They might fucking ban him from the country for X amount of years. Mm, okay. But if I'm on that type of shit, I'll never go back to that country. Fuck that, right? Fuck y'all's to the country. Brain. USA Day. He's all number good. one. I'm good, dog. I'm good. Thank you. He's gonna. <laughs> My wife. Bluetooth to the brain is going to fucking climb the charts. You ever see that fucking Saturday Night Live skit with uh, Stranger Things? She goes, I do a really great Stranger. uh, I'd really do a good Borat impression. But the problem is I have an aneurysm and I pass out. Well, don't do it. And then she goes, my wife. And the bitch just hits the fucking (laughs) ground. and (laughs) (laughs) No, I haven't seen it, but that sounds funny. Well, I talked to you about it, bro. What do you think? Like they introduced all the other numbers, you know? Like 11 and all these other numbers in the last season. And now they're all gone. Like there was no more. I think that's going to come back later down the road. I think that was a major plot hole this last season. Yeah. You built something up. Yeah. You expected that at the close of the last season. Or was it the first season? That's what closed with. And Yeah. And then you just dropped the ball. It didn't build well, on maybe it. That's why they. that's why they say that. Maybe that's. Why that dude, the American that they're talking about at the end of the third season is the fucking Hopper. The, no, not Hopper. He's, I don't know. I think, I he's, think he's dead. I think too. it might be the other dude. The other dude might have lived. What was his name? He was the the daddy. She called him daddy and shit. That one dude, what was his name? He's been in a bunch of 80 movies. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. the main dude. And then she fucked him up. And like, the there you go. Like, there's a possibility that that dude might still oh. be alive and shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I just didn't like all the teen, teeny bop love bullshit. 
in the new one. Like, yeah, take it but out. they really but, I mean, did take it. you to 80s nostalgia in that one, did, though. They did, dog. You know why? I, I'm telling you, because they involved that mall and shit like that, bro. Yeah. I think that had a lot to do with why I fucking really like this season, too, bro. And there was a lot of shit going on. It was like three different stories going on at the same time. You know, it was, and they were all good. They were all good, you know? So. And you found out homegirls of Mari Macha at the end? Who? The one that works at the ice cream shop with him. Oh, yeah. How about she still likes his ass? So I hated you because she still likes She him. was so in love with you and she wouldn't even look at me. Yeah. Some shit like that. Well, that's some hating shit. Get in on the party <laughs> and fuck her and fuck him at the same time. Yeah, you're going to have to take a dick, but you get a fucker. <laughs> so I don't know. I think that's a win win. There you go, dude. That's fucking. That's a. Sometimes you got to compromise. Right? You know? Tactics by DJ Century. So check this out, dog. Uh, we were talking about something new about the food and shit. Yummy. Uh, I want to. I think it's Oscar Mayer doing this shit, bro. It's kind of crazy. Oscar Mayer is launching an ice dog sandwich. Ugh. And it's an ice cream sandwich that's flavored with little chunks of we- of weenie. <laughs> Dude, that's just making my stomach turn. And the ice cream, homie. I just fucking picture a fucking hot dogs flowing in the water. <laughs> there you go. Yellow water. That's part of the process. Yellow right water. Like regular hot dogs or Costco hot dogs? I'm thinking. Uh, it doesn't know, matter what kind of. It's Oscar Mayer, so. I don't give a fuck what kind of. Yeah, it's going to be. I don't give a fuck new, what kind of dag. It's the new dog flavored ice cream. It's actual candied hot dog bits huh. and spicy mustard ice cream sandwich between two cookies, a.k.a. the buns. You like dags? Yeah, you like it. You want a dag? <laughs> you want an ice dag sandwich? <laughs> ice dog sandwich. Okay, so that's it for food, homie. Um, well, what, you, well, what were you talking about? Sports? That too? Beyond Burger. Remember? Okay, what were you saying about the Beyond so Burger? So they fucking did some tests on the fucking actual what the contents are. Okay, it contains this long ass fucking name. It's an ingredient, and the people releasing it didn't find this. It's known to, in the state of California, to cause cancer. Man, they say that. They put that on every burger they release out there. No, dog. but period. It's a substance Dude, that's found in that. I got that on a superstar one well, time. You know? Say this superstar has shit that's going to cause cancer. They put it on everything out there. The, the, the laws are crazy. I don't know. All I'm saying is that that's not a safer alternative. Okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're all take that smart burger and <laughs> shove, shove it, it up, right your, up ass, your ass, bro. Yes. Sideways. Your vegan ass. Uh, That's definitely That's a no your love, no love dog. this week. Damn. Now, what is that burger? Is that the Burger King burger? It's a protein they based burger, burger from Carl's Jr. Burger King has one. And Carl's plant Jr. Based. has one. Plant based protein it's burger. Plant based protein burger. It's like. You get the vegan one. Okay. Try both. Okay. And I don't yes. knock vegan lifestyle. No, no, no. Do you? Do you? But, but when I'm fucking chilling on Sundays this year, watching my Cardinals get their ass kicked, I won't be eating a steak or some fucking chicken or some fucking ribs or something that I grilled. Pulled something pork. manly? Yes. Something from the manly barbecue yeah. handbook? <laughs> I'm going to get hella burly this fucking football season. You know? If it doesn't say roar, don't put it in your mouth. That's right. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Might even fuck around and just go on bison. <laughs> There's nothing more American than eating bison. Oh, I think I've had a bison burger before. They're actually yeah, pretty but good. They got a gaminess to them, though. Oh, yeah. They yeah. got a gaminess to them. As a matter of fact, that's what I had when we went to... When we went to... When we were little doggy. Little we took, doggy. We took a little doggy. When we went to Sedona and we ate over there and shit, that's what I ate was a bison burger. Yo. Telling you, dog. Some that's the leanest shit. meat you can get. Right? Bison? Yeah. Cause that boy a fool. Yeah, Isn't it a trip that they used to just roam the fucking United States like just yeah, fucking man. massive Sad. amounts of they them? They were fucking slaughtered, man. Sad. You gotta survive, man. Hey, I get it. I get it. You know. Hey, we're hungry. You know, yeah, right? Hey, it is what it is, man. It's just you know. That is a mighty tasty glass of water. Fucking ain't right. Hundred and fucking gu- thirty degrees guzzler, in this bitch. The guzzler, baby. Me and we we homies right now. Yeah. Sports. Hey, so what did you have for sports right here? De- De- DeMarcus 
Cousins. Yeah, he tore his ACL or his fucking Achilles. Really? Yeah. No, I thought he was training in the summer league. I don't know if it was training. Those are like high school kids. Either. Yeah. Well, anyways, he was playing basketball yeah. and he tore his shit. So okay. now he's scheduled for a surgery, which honestly, he's going to get paid out this year. But I'm an NBA team. You're done, bro. You're done. Yeah. I, you're too risk. You're too high risk to sign. Like, he was with the Pelicans. He got hurt. He was with the Kings. Kings. He got hurt. With the Warriors, he got hurt. And now, again, he got hurt. That's four times, bro. I mean. Who's he playing with now? Lakers. Lakers? Okay. But they keep him for that late playoff push. You know Probably. I, mean? I stayed all quiet. I was all waiting for him to say it so I could be like, oh, yeah, he's for the Lakers, right? <laughs> But since, I'm anxious since to he see, didn't say that, you forced me to ask the question. I'm, I'm anxious so I know to see fucking. Listeners. I know what we're talking about. Um, KD return from that injury because, like, how how good is he going to be when he gets back? Right. And it would be a, that's a Brooklyn move. I'm not gonna I'm gonna pay you all this money, and you're gonna be just getting better this year. I'm not gonna use you till next year. Yeah. Not this coming year. The next. Year. Well, you gotta realize that's it's a good. gauntlet, bro. <laughs> Like, your goal is to make the fucking... You know who I liked was D'Angelo Russell going to the fucking Warriors. Yeah. That was a great move. Yeah? Yeah. Up, though, that's the question. Is he going to snitch on his fucking that's homie for fucking something? Because that that's what he did to fucking Nick Young. He, when Nick Young was dating Iggy Azalea, D'Angelo Russell fucking messaged her all kinds of bullshit. Ratted on fucking snitch. that fool. Yeah? Snitch shit, bro. He fucking broke the bro code? Yeah. You what? Oh, what's wrong with you, fool? That's kind of why I didn't want him to come to Phoenix because I didn't want him to get into Booker's mind and DeAndre Ayton and him. Yeah, don't be, path, get get know? get your get your ass away from our players. Yeah, man. <laughs> I think and I say that in the sense. I say that in the sense. This year, huh? DeAndre uh, Ayton. Yeah, I think he's gonna have a breakout year for sure. Like he's, he's gonna so. just come to be a man he's and be shit. that dude. Yeah, bro. That's good, man. I see a young Joel Embiid in him. Fuck yeah. He just got to get that weight on him. Yeah. You know. He Jeez. probably needs to gain another 50 pounds in the next five years. Work on his feet because like his footwork. So you said... Uh, 10 a year, bro, on muscle? Yeah. I'll tell you right now, though, on the Cardinals, our line is our biggest hurdle this year for our offense and our defense. You can't create pressure on the quarterback. Well, we got a bunch of old men rushing, bro. Yeah, yeah. What did you really think that fucking Terrell Suggs was a good pickup? I'm a Sun Devil fan, goddammit. And I'm, I'm rethinking. You know? I'm rethinking the Jordan Hicks move too because that dude moves like molasses. Yeah. Molasses. Then again, it is fucking preseason. Uh, yeah. But you don't hot dog it, <laughs> he you know? moves like molasses. I fucking had to subscribe to Sling today because it was on ESPN. Molasses. What? I, thought I, I saw you. I, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was tight that you went. You went to both preseason games, huh, fucker? Yeah. I, well, who did you go last Fucking bastard. Uh, the Raiders. And then last week, the Where? Where in Phoenix? Yeah, at the at the Cardinals. Lindo, yeah. No shit. Yeah, That's cool. I've never gone to a football game. Bro, can you drive there. in San Diego? Uh, I can only drive two, but once I get there, I have to be signed up for California. Oh, okay. I've been there. I've been there for two concerts. I've been there for two concerts, but I've never been there for a uh, Cardinals game. I want to go check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen how expensive those tickets are, bro? Any seat is good in that house, dude. Like. Oh no, I get that. You could be holding the roof up and still go see. Yep. Yeah, that boy a fool. Yeah, dude. Uh, Murray was running for his life. He's inaccurate when he's throwing to his right and he's running. He's, he had Fitzy on an open. I don't know if you saw that. And it was right behind him. Fitzy would have grabbed it, but he was uh, he was getting older, But and that shit was way back there, bro. And he all going the other way, so. He's not, a, he's not a youngin? No. Yeah, that boy a fool. But he didn't give him a chance to catch a ball either. So you said, did you have a, a show love for the week? Um, I don't, bro. Okay. I'm in grind mode right now, so I'm showing love to myself. I noticed this thing stopped working. Did you notice that? Really? Yeah. Where we at right here? I don't know. 74, and that's 115. It did stop working. Okay. Um, I got to show love to the Almies from Shit Happens When You Party Naked. They had their baby. That little girl. Congratulations. Hell yeah, man. Shout out to them and shit. And uh, let me see. No love. No love for the day. Mm. He said, mm. No <laughs> love. No motherfucking love. He said, mm. Who am I going to show no love to today? Huh? Sorry. Ain't your day. Well, I don't got no show love or no love for the week. I'm just 
keep on rolling. Um, jam of the week, dog. Obviously, you've heard me fucking singing this shit all fucking, all fucking night. You know what I'm saying? The fucking, uh, the Rick Ross shit. The fucking act of fool. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, it's the first song on the fucking album. He fucking, he's smart as fuck for putting that as the first song on the album. Cause it just like jumps the shit off, which is dope. But like, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, it was dope. I'm not even done talking Sorry. about my fucking song, Bro, dog. It wouldn't even like, fucking let load, finish, remember? Let me, let me finish. Sorry. Sorry. Anyways, dog. Look at, uh, the rest of the album, I wasn't like 100% like impressed. It was cool. It was all right. But was it Ross's best album? Nah. No. No. Nah. But there was some good, there was definitely some good fucking, uh, some, some good, um, you know, features on there and shit. The one with Nipsey's dope. Uh, but obviously fucking the Aston Martin music with fucking Lil Wayne was dope. Corn cab pipe. I just felt like that album was recorded way long ago. No. Yep. I was new as fuck. I don't feel like it's new content. I feel like he was sitting on those verses for a while. Think so? I don't know. Maybe I'm just not into Rick Ross anymore. Uh, he's all right. But let me see. My old school was by the Dog Pound. You know that I really, I realized that I'm really into dance hall, man. Like I really do fuck with like dance hall days. Lee Scratch Perry, all that shit, you know. Dance hall, dance hall, dance hall days. <laughs> it's not Kevin Rudolph. It's Kevin Little. Kevin Little, Kevin Rudolph. Oh, Kevin right? Little. Fucking love that song. Kevin Little's turned me on. It's fucking what's oh, his name? Right. Same first name. Okay. That's somebody. She's a beauty. Very special. Yeah. yeah, that's dance hall too. Did you see the meme I made about fucking uh, Forrest Gump? Did you Mike? Night and day. <laughs> this fool says it wasn't funny. <laughs> DJ Easy oh, Dick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is uh off the Dog Pound album, Smooth, featuring Snoop Dogg. Dog Songs food. food. Shit. Yeah. Album. But this was, I didn't have anything, and then this popped up. The end. This shit popped up on the way here and shit, and I was like, fuck yeah. This is it. In the place to be. My name is Snoop. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's my old school. What you got, sweet? So the new one, I was riding the Uber last night, and this Indian fellow was taking me home. And I'm not being racist because. He wasn't Native American. He right, was right, Indian, right, right, like right, from right. India. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he Dude, had to be associated with the U of A. Somehow. We hosted an Indian wedding. The DJ played some bangers ass shit that I fucking Shazam too. Yeah. And it sounded just like that. Yep. They got that fire, yeah. dog. Look at that shit. Yeah. Right? Come on. Play some DJ shit, bro. Got Jesus, Yep. Damn, That's fire right there. Bro, I might even drop that at Cobra, you know? Like, it's just hot. Shit. Throw it in tiger. there, dog. But, um, that shit and it's a hit. right. <laughs> fucking. That's literally. Just spring a little tiger on it and it's gonna fucking be a banger. You're like, sunset. I'm sunset. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. But yeah, so I I had the homie fucking, I, I was like, yeah, I shazammed it. He's like, oh, yeah, it's some good music. I'm like, yeah, it's good. Bam. And then my throwback, I was listening to a lot of, um, I listened to Soul Action. Uh, it's a dude by Joe K on Apple Radio. Right, right, I've heard it. He had a 420 episode. So he did like a hardcore dance hall mix, which was fucking dope. And I heard a song that I hadn't heard in forever by Burnton Levy. Okay. Um, what the fuck was this song? I wrote it down right here. I'm good. My fucking know. internet is terrible. I'm good, bro. The vibe is right. Okay. Yeah, it's a fucking jam. I used to have a smoke mix, and I was on one of them. Nice. You know, smoke mix volume one. 
Oh, yeah. Did I you got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one. How's it called? Mine's called 420 Mix. Okay. Something like that. Mine's just a cloud emoji. Uh-huh. Damn, there you go. It's almost split you to. Sky X rated in there, fucking oh, shit. shit, like like two or three from Friday, Friday. Yeah. No, we got Rick James in there, of course. No, no. Yeah, some good shit. Yeah, um, I went to Talib Kweli last week. How was it? Awful. Was it really, man? It was a yeah. terrible show, and I paid fifty seven dollars for my ticket. Ouch. Yeah. Youch. I bet you it was like 17 for that or something like that. But nonetheless, I paid $57 for a concert I was not very happy with. But you already went in there with a sour-ass fucking attitude, huh? I went in there <laughs> wanting to see fucking Talib Kweli. <laughs> Uh, fucking but, rapping he didn't Kanye do West. He, he did his he, fucking... Doom, 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 doom. I get him high. He didn't. You didn't like what he did. No, the rest of the show was shit. Cause like he was just talking to <laughs> fucking, just talking to the audience. The rest of his show is shit. The homie that opened up was pretty tight. Uh, was it Runsky? Yeah, Runt from fucking Jiving Scientist. Yeah, he was pretty. They were pretty Dude, tight. The yeah, live set. Jiving Scientist, bro. Yeah, I was hella lit too when I got there. Yeah, that's the only way to see him. Mm. But um, yeah, bro, they were pretty tight. Um, I don't know him personally, but. I'm pretty sure we could reach out and he can get him on here. Yeah, definitely. I could reach out to Ron. I met Ron a bunch of times. You reached <coughs> out to him a bunch of times already? I've talked to him a bunch of times. Oh. Yeah. I know Ron pretty good. I mean, not like fucking homies and shit. Yeah, but I've, I've, been to, I've been to a lot of fucking shows where I've been like, what's up, dog? Like, how you guys doing? Blah, blah, blah. This and that. You know what I'm saying? He knows what yeah. I mean. I know who he is. That's what's saying. up. I just saw him. He's, he's been hosting those shows at Thunder Canyon. Oh, right, right, right. right. There, you know what I'm saying? He's been fucking... Letting people do a bunch of different, you know, hip hop shows there, man. Like every weekend, this shit's booked up for like the next like couple months. I heard. Word. Yeah, dog. It's pretty cool, man. That was when we did the Vinnie Mendez show right there where I posted yeah. up and did a little fucking setup and shit, you know what I mean? Downtown? Yep. The one downtown. Yeah, because they closed the one on the north side. So. Hey, what venue are they closing? What do you mean? They're like trying to like raise money to keep a venue open here in town. Ooh, I don't know which one. I don't know. I don't know. They've, you I've, fucking tell me. I didn't hear about this. That's not good. Pike would know about it. Hit him okay, up about it. Okay, I'll hit him okay. up about it and I'll fucking figure well, that it out. sucks that we don't know. I'm going to have to, yeah. Okay. Gotta call the gatekeeper. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Man, I think that's pretty much fucking it, dog. Do you have anything else? This is your old school? I'm oh, sorry, no. All three years later, is that your old school? No, that's the first banger. Oh, that's the first I one? I was just feeling it, bro. I'm in the back, fucked up. I, I did not intend to get fucked up at Cobra last night. Bad, bad Shaw? That you would pronounce it the way I would. Bad Shaw. Um, bad Shaw. I'm, I drank this drink that had a fucking mango chili lollipop in it. That sounds fruity. Dog. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, it was fucking bomb, bro. I had like three of those bitches. Yeah. Two White Claws because it was White Claw Wednesday. Okay. Super local is coming out. Yeah. My bitch called Loco. I bet you they're going to fucking get that as a fucking ad. Oh, why not? Yeah. Loco. For I've, Loco. I've already seen fucking like memes where it I says that scientists have discovered the fifth Loco. Yeah. And shit like that. I've seen a bunch of different fucking memes. I don't have no memes of the week, so we'll find that one. I have I a meme. A, what's the meme? That fucking Forrest Gump meme. That was whack. Ah, uh, you hate it because you're a U of A fan. Yeah, well, that's not going. That on. insinuates you're you know, a wildcat fan. If you want to post woman. it to the fucking Twitter, be my guest. I will. Yeah, I didn't see any good memes this week, dog. I don't know. I didn't have any. Uh... It was in the Pac-12 fighting community group chat. On um... I mean, I did actually have some pretty bad memes, but they went with like the whole what is it, Jerry Epstein fucking thing? Is that his name? Pedophile Jeffrey? Island. Nah, it was like. Uh... <laughs> Look at it. Just kill him, man. Oh my god. <laughs> they fucking transpose <laughs> Hillary's head on, on Zach De La Rocha's body. That's fucking hilarious. From it's Rage like, Against the Machine. It's all here is something you can't understand. And it's fucking uh Bill and uh Hillary Clinton and shit. And then there they was fucking transpose Bill Clinton over Tom Morello's body. 
That's fucking hilarious. Video killed the radio star. Oh my god, that is so fucking funny. Bill and the pervert. I fucking Epstein. yeah, dude. This is some good shit. Fucking meme of the week. I did have one, I guess. But uh, yeah, man. This is uh, episode sixty. Brand new season. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody that's still listening. Uh, the season's going to be dope. We got some good guests coming in here. Like I said, we did have one lined up for today, but uh, he had some, uh, you know, personal shit he had to take care of. So, you know, got to do what we got to do. But uh hope you guys enjoyed. If this is your first time listening, consider subscribing. Go ahead and, uh, you know, leave a rate, review on Apple and... Uh, Make sure you check out PodCoin. It's a good way to get, you know, free shit for listening to podcasts that you're already listening to anyway. And, uh, yeah, man, I am uh, Casual520 across the board. I'm DJ Century, DJ underscore Century. And uh, you can find us collectively at the Hood Diner Podcast on Instagram, at the Hood Diner on Twitter, and for everything else, at the Hood Di- or thehooddiner.com. And, uh, yeah, man, go buy some dude wipes. All the links are all there and shit. And uh, thank you for tuning in, man. And uh, we will see you guys on the next one. You got anything else to say, though? That Pie Face OG is just fucking amazing. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Pie Face OG? All right, man. Season four featuring Pie Face OG. Like, I don't know if you guys are going to listen to this episode and think, like, what the fuck are these dudes on? That weed was just strong. Yeah. It was super strong. And it's like, okay, though. If we sound dumbed down this episode. Yeah! Our apologies. If not, then it's just me internally. Yeah, it is, it is just you. But I, I just felt like we moved at a slow speed today. Like we it's were on chopped good, and screwed. Dog. You know what hey. I'm saying? That's why I tell people to listen to it at like point two five. I can't do that. I don't like want to hear that. no chipmunks. I like that. No point two five. Point two five. What's that teacher's name from Say by the Bell, bro? The speak all fast? Well, the micro machine dude? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Testaverde. I can't listen to a podcast with Mr. Testaverde fucking transcribing it. Fuck that. Dude, my homie Ray said he was fucking, uh, he has, he has a, a fucking tow truck, right? Tow truck company. And he said he was listening to our podcast and that he was like doing a fucking car. And he heard us talking about the fucking cheese. The, what is his name? The Monterey Jack and shit. You're like, you're like, I don't know. All I know is it was a cheese. And fuck, dude, he said he was, he said he was laughing his ass off during that shit. Cause yeah. that shit was fucking funny, man. Fucking Monterey Jack, dude. The fucking cheese. The fucking. Oh, but I did find out. You know what I did after the fucking last podcast, man? I went and looked up who uh, Huey, Louie, and Dewey's fucking parents are, right? Now, the dad is fucking like, there's no name, nowhere to be found and shit. There's nothing. But there is a mom, and I think it's like fucking Donald's, uh, I don't know if it's Donald's sister or Donald's aunt, something like that, but she is related to Donald. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember her name either. I fucking suck. I wish I would have had that exact information. But there is. They're not fucking like the, the children, like with no parents. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever wondered that? Like who the fuck their parents were? Because remember, they were left with fucking Donald, but Donald left them with Scrooge. Because Uncle Scrooge had the money, so he could afford to keep them during DuckTales. Right, pretty much. So then it was his great cousins was was what fucking Uncle Scrooge was to them. Those were his great, great cousins. All right, that's why he's pissed off. I don't even fucking know these little motherfuckers, You bring these man. three little shits over here? Right, who the fuck is these little mischievous-ass bastards? There? I didn't birth these little fucks. <laughs> these fuckers are worse than Donald. They're like Donald times three. What the fuck? For real, man. What? Yeah, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Episode 60, Philly Diner Podcast. Peace. <laughs> I'm waiting for the cue there. I was like, what the I was just saying, I, yeah. <laughs> Peace. What's a good breakfast, Thank you.